I want you to start to like obsess with your red ring, meditate, obsess. I want you to get fired up, maybe print some stuff out, update your business plan, put some stuff on your wall. Along the way, we're gonna back engineer some milestones. I think one milestone is 20 licenses in your base. I think 35 licenses in your base and then 50 licenses in your base. I, 50 licenses in your base is gonna pay you a quarter million a year. I want that to be your vision on the wall. I want to, I want to check in with you on that. When thing, you know, to stay in the big, we got to, we got to have it in, in front of us. And once that's dialed in, I want to know about it, and then we can, we can touch base on it, right? Every Ontario event, every conversation about expanding to a new office, every, everything that you and I do, right? The U.S. expansion, what, how does it work? Everything we do and talk about is going to tie into that 250 goal. So let me ask you this: Where do you want to Where do you want to be by the end of twenty twenty four? By the end of twenty twenty four, yeah. Um, on my way to <clears throat> fifty licenses. Okay. And yeah, about about two hundred k. Okay. Um, I promote at, at at least one SMD. Okay. Possibly two, like could 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 promote Jordan and, and Christine. Where will you be by the end of the year for licenses? This year? Yeah. Like over fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so you wanna 16, you wanna 17. get you wanna add thirty five forty next year? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When uh, when's your ring? My my goal is by the end of the year. I mean, I'm I'm still working for it. I I think realistically, it'll it'll be early next year. Definitely first half of next year. Um, I mean, I, I had a slow first half of the year, so yeah, yeah. So like most most of most of what I've been what I've been doing and what's on the system and stuff is from like realistically from Vegas to now. Mm -hmm. And so that's really good uh, for the next six months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your 12 on numbers going to be balling. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So like, what do you want your, <clears throat> what do you want your identity to be like in this hierarchy? Like your, your frontline SMD, your first guy to always help out at the office. You're really good at what you do. Everybody who hears you train is always like, Kyle's the best trainer. Even when you did that U.S. stuff, you're, the feedback that I got from your training was unlike any other training. Yeah, thanks, bro. But what do you want your like? What do you want to be known for? Like, what's your identity here? I I want to be one of your top guys, man. Yeah. Like, I. It's funny you you ask me that because I've I've been thinking about this the last maybe like three days. Mm hmm. And like I've been texting you, right? Like comeback season, and yeah, I just like I feel like for a lot of my life I was at at the top without mm -hmm. having to do any work. Yeah, just floating by, and I, mm. I think I like I had to go through a season of just being down the leaderboard and mm. you know not being where I want to be, and now I'm like, yeah, it's can come back season Woo. bro yeah, like I, I see myself being being one of your top dogs man oh that's sick but i'm glad you see that i see that too what what what's the, what's the shift like what needs to change in order to and, and i've already seen i've already seen a shift but what what yeah. do you need to do more of to get to get into that rhythm that's a good question i think i just like i, I definitely need to get into a, a more solid like morning routine again okay um just getting getting into the office earlier and then i, I just gotta stay stay in the big because like i think a, a thing for me is that i'll like like i like i went i went through a, a period there where i was doing one or two directs a month yeah and then i like get some good stuff going on and then yeah. i'm like okay we got some good stuff going on <laughs> And then I, you fucking know, right? oh, and then I, and then I stopped doing oh, this stuff, shit. right? Got the momentum. <clears throat> and so I, I think like some of that is just because I get caught in the short term goals and then I hit a sh I hit the short term goals 
and I'm not focused enough on the on the big picture. So it's not that I like get caught in the weeds or it's like I get taken out or stuff like that. It's that I just like yeah, the I guess I don't keep the the big vision close enough in front yeah. of me. Yeah. Like I, I should uh, just as I'm saying this, I'm like I should just fucking take this whole board down because I don't even use it to track anymore. Why don't you? Yeah. Why don't you take it down? Like what? What? What level or income? Like what? What? It, what? What fires you up? Like I know I asked you the question in the next year, but what? What's the next domino that really gets you jacked up, or you're where you feel like you're going to be competing here and like starting to crush everybody? Like in, in what kind of time frame? I'd say within the next one to three years. One to three years. Yeah, like, I mean, by the end of next year, you know, around 200. And like, I got big dreams, man, right? Like, yeah, you do. You know me. Yeah. So like what really fires me up is thinking about, you know, like fucking 100 grand a month. Woo! Like, <clears throat> Just getting to a point where it's where it's like totally bulletproof can really because like I, I feel like that's that's like the starting point into where this this business is like largely built. Not not that I'm just going to disappear or anything like that. No. But, but but once you're at that level, then it's like you know, you can, you can start to diversify because you have the cash flow to, yeah. you can dump money into this and into that and still, still have 90% of your time focused here. Yeah. And, and yeah, like some of the shit that I want is it's going to take, it's going to take major cash flow. Yeah. <laughs> you've always, honestly, bro, and I'm just logging in here, but you've always had, you've always had expensive taste yeah. ever since I've known you. Yeah, for sure, <clears throat> for sure. Bro, I think we need to like work closer together. Yeah. I, I wrote down two things here, morning routine and stay in the bank. What yeah. What would your, in an, in, 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 I don't say ideal world, but in the world where Kyle's earning a quarter million a year, what does your morning routine need to look like? Honestly, yeah. Not even anything crazy. Okay. Well, I just entertain me. Just getting getting up at the same time every morning. Okay. What time know, would that be? Six thirty. Okay. Like at the at the times when I've been most on my game, is yeah, I'm I'm up mm -hmm. I'm up before seven, and like I'm I'm rolling by eight, right? And I. I mean, I've, I've talked about it before with like the timing with the gym. Yeah. I think I, I got to, I got to stick to the evenings for a little <clears throat> bit. It's cause I, I'm meeting so many people. What time is I, that for you? It, it varies depending on my schedule, but some, some time between four and eight. It's cause that's, that's when it's packed. Mm -hmm. I know like, <clears throat> I know so many people there now. It's like. Like in any day that I go, I'm like saying hi, fist bumping, having brief conversations with 20, 30, 40 people a day. Mm. And so like, I'm, I'm really, even like this guy I'm bringing on tomorrow, it's, okay. you know, we, it's, it's not know, interfering with your actually. evening appointments. No. Cause when I, when <clears throat> I have, when I have, I mean, unfortunately I'm not busy enough. <laughs> mm. And then when I am, then I, then I'll go at like 9 PM Yeah, <clears throat> and I, and I'll still know 15, 20, 25 people that are there. Bro, here's what I want you to do. I want you to yeah. rewrite a sesh, fre uh, a fresh set of goals <clears throat> all the way to, why don't we just make it a clean 250? <clears throat> red ring. I want you to start to like obsess with your red ring, meditate, obsess. I want you to get fired up. Maybe print some stuff out, update your business plan, put some stuff on your wall. And along the way, along the way, we're gonna back engineer some milestones, right? Uh, the other ring, um, I think one, one milestone is 20 licenses in your base. 
I think uh, 35 licenses in your base and then 50 licenses in your base. I, 50 licenses in your base is gonna pay you a quarter million a year. I want that to be your vision on the wall. I want to, I want to check in with you on that one thing, you know, to stay in the big, we gotta, we gotta have it in, in front of us. And once that's dialed in, I want to know about it. And then we can, we can touch base on it, right? Every Ontario event, every conversation about expanding to a new office, every, everything that you and I do, right? The US expansion, what, how does it work? Everything we do and talk about is going to tie into that 250 goal. And if it's not in line with you getting to 250 or 50 in your base, I don't want you doing it. I don't want you doing it anymore. Okay. It, you got to you got to, you got to, Hey, you're a great guy and you help a lot of people out and, and don't ever change. Like always be that guy. That's, that's who you're known as is the guy that helps people out. But everything you do needs to be in line with your purpose to get to 250. Yeah, for sure. And then once we got that, I want you to write down, I want you to write down your ideal morning routine. <clears throat> and here's what Chris Bush and I do every morning, Chris Bush and I, we have a little text because he had the same challenge and, this, and yeah. Chris is stud and he was already kind of, you know, getting up, but he didn't have a routine. He didn't have, he didn't, he, he wants to get to the gym in the morning and he wants to. So whatever your plan is, if it's get out of bed at 6.30, out, out, you know, out the door by 7.30, office by 8, 8.30, whatever it is. Yeah. If you can, bro, if you can master that and you can check in with me on that. And you and I can, can hold each other to our morning. If I can help get you to the office every day and keep your head in the big, your business is going to 5X just from that. Yeah. Just from that. Yeah. And then we can start having conversations about all the other stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, you've been such a pillar in this team for the last five years. I mean, this team would not be where it is today without you. Nothing yeah, we've built in Ontario would have, w w nothing. You're such a huge part. And even people in Calgary, like everybody speaks highly of you. You're super well-respected, you're well-spoken, but it's time. You're like the, you're like, how would I describe Kyle? You're like the best kept secret in the hierarchy. You're like, yeah. you're like the, you're like the best kept, nobody, n not enough people know about you yet, secret in the hierarchy. Yeah. Because you're kind of out, you're kind of out there. You're not really competing right now yet, like the way you can be and will be. But once that yeah. starts to come, I want you on stage. I want you representing the East. I want, I want you representing uh, Ontario. And now you got, you got a little spark. You got Jordan. Jordan needs you to have a 250 vision. Yeah. I haven't talked to him, but I'm telling you, your team, your future leaders need you to have that vision. And, yeah. he, and he walks in your office or you're on a call and you got that on your thing and I'm introducing you and I'm bringing that up. Hey, here's one of our next 250 earners and you got a game plan. You're gonna, you're gonna blow through 100K, like it, like standing still, yeah. so. No, thanks bro. Yeah, I appreciate all of that. You've, 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 you've spent a good amount of time building this part of your story and congratulations, you built a great story. It's been awesome. Yeah. Now it's time for the next, like the next chapter. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I told Lloyd, like, don't be afraid to get some, to get some feedback and sit down with NABs and be like, Hey, like, just be honest, like bird's eye view on the business. What could I do different? It's tough. Cause you've been here a couple of years longer, but I think it's really good to just share ideas and, um, yeah. get a second opinion and blind spots because you can't see your blind spots like somebody who can in the office every day. For sure. And you might as well, you might as well get it from a guy who's, who's, who's rocking and rolling. So yeah. No, I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. So. No, that's awesome. Yeah. And so like with, with a guy like Jordan. Yeah. Who, you know, is like it, at this point, you just, I'm just kind of got to let him fly. Hey, Got to let him fly and really build him up. Yeah. Really build him up, let him fly and go get really crazy outside of him. Okay. Yeah, be there like in case he stumbles and scrapes his knee, be there to pick him up. Yeah, for sure. Check in with me when he's doing some good stuff. I'll overlap too, I'll help build him up. I'll start reaching. If you and I are talking more, that means I'm talking to him more. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right? For sure. That's one another way I can help you, so. Okay. And then lastly, I don't know where the states fit into all this, but man, getting licensed in a week, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. 
you know, I think you just need to find a guy down there. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And it's, yeah, the product is a no brainer. It's a no brainer product. We just need the guy. Yeah. But if sure. you have this vision of 50 licenses, what happens is all of a sudden, bro, you go, I could license 10 in Nevada in 30 days. Yeah. So now all of a sudden you start thinking of ways to knock down that number, right? And uh, you know, we start planning, then maybe you and I do a closing college in the US. Like maybe we plan a high impact training for, the, for anybody on your team that's active. Maybe you and I run a CFT program. Maybe this is our way we can kind of work together more simultaneous, building it side by side, you know? So these are all things that I want you to think about and, and let me know what, what your thoughts are on them all. But 250, 50 licenses, competing, dude, this is, I love it. They, and put on the top of your board, <clears throat> comeback season. Yeah. Put a couple pictures that mean something to you in the business, maybe picture your dad, right? A couple pictures with your mentors, put, put some goals on there, right? And with some yeah, dates, like with some dates, and then every day, every day you, you get excited, you get up, you get up and you get out of your environment and home and you show up to the office. Yeah. And then you get some feedback, constant feedback, blind spots, where, what do you see? What do you, what do you see? If you were coaching me, what would you do different? And then every day, bro, you go to work. Yeah. Yeah. No, hundred percent. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna revamp the board this weekend. Yeah, good idea. Because it's, I mean, right now it's still old school. Yeah. It's got the, the chart on <laughs> it's there. Cute. And it's cute. It's all digital now, right? Yeah, like that it's all board digital. is from the beginning of the year. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, 